I think, um, I think honestly being transgender, how, you know, people, the hell's under my nails, how people perceive you varies from where you live. You know, if you live in some place like San Francisco, nobody bites an eye, you know? So, yeah. But when you live in um, conservative places, conservative countries, conservative towns, conservative parts of the United States, you know what I'm talking about, you know, exactly where I'm referring to. When you live in these places, you get treated differently. You know, I live in um, the South, in a small well, smaller town, not smallish town in the south, but I live in a town that's about, uh, about 30,000 or less. So, you know, that kind of small town. And I live, um, I'm not going to tell you where I live, but I live near the Gulf of Mexico. Alright, so I live that south. That deep part of the, you know, dirty south, you know. And I will tell you this: the problem I have about being transgender here is you come across people who they're polite. They, you know, they mind their own business. They, sh they don't say shit, you know. They see me going around. They see my mom call me by my girl name. My mom's always called me by my girl name. I'm not changing it. She's contented when I'm contented with who I am. And I, I don't care, really. <laughs> so, they sit there and they see me. And they, you know, they don't think nothing. Like, oh, it's a guy. And then my mom calls me by my girl name. And I'm not talking about one of those unisex names like Sam and... Chris, you know what you're like, but one of those girly names, yeah, you know those names, when they hear my mama call me that, then they always kind of take like a double look, like, oh my god, that's an amber, no, that is not my name, okay, um, that's referring to amber from FX, a Korean girl group. She, she's a, she's a girl, but she's like the tomboyish, you know, girl, person. You know, whatever. She could be transgender. I don't, I don't care. Whatever cool with her, cool with me. And uh, I know this inch is Philly. So uh, you know, people kind of give you second look. Now those people, I don't mind when they just kind of look at you like, hey, you got a beard. You got a girl thing. Uh, no, I don't mind it. Though, then there are those who really tends to make you want to interface. You know what I mean? The ones that aren't polite. The ones that like to broadcast. Now, I'm, I'm one of those people I don't like to really draw attention to myself. You know, I don't talk loudly, I don't, you know, act up, I don't, like, flirt with men and women and all that stuff. And I'm always kind of shy. You know, kind of. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I try, like I said, I try not to broadcast myself. I try not to get any, anyone's attention. You know, I don't wear stuff in my ears and stuff in my nose and stuff like that. You know, if you do it, I'm cool. I don't care. I just don't wear that. And, uh, <clears throat> so, every so often, I'll come across one of these women. They'll be about my age, maybe younger. The ones that don't really realize that it's embarrassing to you or bothering to you 
are bothering you, um, these are the ones who will, like if I have my beard, you know, they will, they won't say, oh, that's beard, you know, they will be the ones who be like a cashier, you know, get up there, yeah, dink, 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 yeah, that'd be 1653, there's 17 bucks, okay, that right there, oh, is that real, can I touch that, can I touch that, no, no, um, no, thank you, just give me my chain, please, you sure I can't touch that? No. Your boyfriend might get mad. <laughs> yeah, hold on while I get the cashier behind me to stop what she's doing with a line of people and see if she can touch your beard. And you're like, just give me my damn change. Those are the ones. Now, so, again, there's two types. There are ones who really are just too eager to know something about. And then there are those who are kind of mean. And I I encountered one. I can't, I don't know how old this woman was. She was a grown up and I was like 15. Well, about 17 actually. And I she worked in the deli at Publix. And I went back there and was supposed to pick up chicken that mom ordered. And again, I had hair pretty much like this. I had like a black shirt on. This was my black shirt days. I always wore like a black shirt with some logo on it. Really haven't changed. And I went back there to uh, pick up the chicken. And I was talking to the lady, yeah, I'm here to pick up my mom's chicken. Thank you. Y'all have a nice night. And that was it. And then suddenly, this other woman, this sort of immature woman, she turned around and she said, Hey, girl. Hey. Hey, you. <laughs> yeah? What's your name? I said my name. Yeah, that, that's my name. And the woman start bust out laughing. And I'm like, uh, what's so funny? And she said this like right in front of all the employees. You don't look like one of them. Which well, instead of them, she said me. She said you don't look like that name. And I said, then what's your name? Tushwanda. I said, well, you don't look like a Tushwanda. <laughs> but really, I was, I just remember feeling kind of red-faced when she, when she started laughing. Like, funny. You don't look like, you don't look like that. Man. And you do get that. You do get women who are, and I never get it from men. You know, I always get it from women. And there's always, like, two types of women. Ones who, they don't really care. They don't really judge. They, you know, they judge you upon how you are. How you treat them. How you act. They don't turn around and go, oh my god. Are you a dyke? Because you're, you're like a lesbian. Don't smile at me or... Yeah, I'm not in it. This, okay? You will encounter that, particularly here in the South. But you will encounter another type. And I'm going to make another video about this because this video is this uh, next video will be a little longer.